A very happy new year to you. I want 2023 to be one of the best, one of the healthiest and one of the happiest of your life. You truly deserve it. You are here because you are on a quest to improve your health, to challenge yourself and to live the best life that you possibly can. Anyone that has the courage to challenge themselves in any way and to step outside of their comfort zone, I admire immensely. Living your best life starts with challenging yourself both physically and mentally. And I want you to take yourself to the next level in many aspects of your life in 2023. Improving your overall health and fitness should never simply be a New Year's resolution that finishes in a short period of time and you fall back into your old habits. Good health is a journey that should be practiced every day if you truly want to live your best life. There is absolutely no question at all that stopping old habits and starting new ones is exceptionally challenging. It's tough. Any type of progress in life requires some type of discomfort, pain, or even sacrifice. So you must mentally prepare yourself if you truly want to make any changes. Now, when setting goals for yourself, focus on what you truly want and get into the mindset of why, why you want to achieve this. Set goals as opposed to resolutions. So set intentions of things that you would like to achieve instead of things that you shouldn't do. For example, I want to be fit and strong and healthy as opposed to I shouldn't eat pizza every week. Be honest with yourself about the current state of your health, such as you may be overweight or, or have diabetes or osteoporosis or chronic pain. Use this as a motivating factor to create and accomplish your goals. Write down your goals. This can't be stressed enough. And have them somewhere you can see them every day, such as on your computer screen, on your bathroom mirror. Print them out and put them on your fridge or have them pop up as a reminder on your phone every day or do a combination of these. You can break your goals down into sections and this is completely up to you what, what you want to put in there, but I, I generally do business slash career, uh, personal goals, health goals, and you can even have financial goals in there. Make your goals as realistic as possible. Think about the SMART acronym, S-M-A-R-T. I won't go into what each category is, but I will spell it out. So SMART, S, simple, make the goals simple. M for measurable goals. A is for achievable or attainable, R, realistic, and T, timely. Really important to give your, your goals a time, like, like you want to lose five kilograms by, by the end of uh, June this year. Uh, understand that change takes time, so focus on making gradual and continual improvements. If you improve something by 1% every week, this is a 50% improvement in a year. That's massive. So real change can take time, so do be patient. Think five years ahead. Think what habits you need to be repetitive at and consistent with to, to get you where you want to be long term. Now, 2023 will be like every other year in that there'll be challenges, setbacks, and even some failures. But let's always come back to the trajectory that we want to be on. And think about your why. Think about your keel, centering that keel. Think about what Harry talked about if you're at the event night. Centering the keel should be where you come, be, come back. It should kind of be your happy place and your neutral line that you want to be on. So there's going to be, it's going to, like I said, there's going to be setbacks and, and failures. It's going to take you down, take your mood down and so forth. Get back up, and, get back up there, center that keel, move on, push forward. So... That's a wrap. So I want everybody for 2023 to stay focused, stay consistent, and stay disciplined with your daily habits. And let's make this year a fantastic one.